What's up everybody and welcome back. I want to show you in this video how I replace the hard drive in my laptop. Now this can be applied to a desktop and laptop at the same time. I just want to show you what I did. I mean the method I used and it worked so I just want to show some people how easy it really is to just I mean migrate your uh, data from one, so, um, one hard drive to the next. Now there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a half inch screwdriver, a USB to SATA cable. I think you can get one from Amazon for about 10 bucks I believe. It could be, you know, the prices vary from time to time. So you're also going to need the SS drive, the Samsung SS drive. Now see, the thing is with the Samsung SSD drive is that it comes with software where you can migrate your software and just clone it, your old hard drive to your new SSD. So I'm going to show you that process as well. And the first thing you're going to want to do is just install the software from the Samsung um, software disk that comes with the SSD. So once you install it, it's going to ask you, well, it pretty much walks you through it. It's, it's a software where it says mig migration from hard drive to SSD. And you just pretty much walk through that. That's why you're going to need the USB to SATA cable because of, it's just going to migrate the software from one place to the next. Now, this may vary depending on, you know, what USB you use. If you use three, USB 3.0, it's going to take about maybe about an hour or so maybe 55 minutes or so to uh, migrate the whole thing it depends on how much software you got on your hard drive in the first place and also you may have to if you use usb 2.0 it may take it may take a little long it may vary i don't know but i just use usb 3.0 but once you go into the software it's going to tell you migrate hard drive to ssd and things like that and it's pretty much walking through it like I said, it's going to take about an hour, so once you're finished that, replace the hard drive itself. And as you take a look here, then once the software is finished cloning the hard drive, it's going to shut down. And this is where you actually have to physically take your SSD and replace with the hard drive. This is what you're going to have to do. Now, different laptops have a different process. My laptop was pretty easy. It's a section for the hard drive and a section for the RAM. So all I had to do was take off the back part of the laptop where the hard drive was at unscrew that, then unscrew one screw where the hard drive is at, slide it out and pull it out and just replace that the hard drive with the new SSD. Now the hard drive is pretty much out of commission now. I could use it for an existing laptop I want to replace certain things with, but I'm done with that. I'm sticking with SSD for right, from now on. So I just wanted to show you this process. And then once you hook, uh, replace the hard drive with the new SSD, you screw it back in, slide it into the SATA port, and just put the case back on and then you flip it over and restart your computer it's going to start a little bit faster as you can see and just this is how the process i use to replace my hard drive with the ssd and it's pretty a simple process the long part of it is when you have to uh wait for your clone the cloning process from one hard drive to the next that's the that's the long drawn out part but other than that it's pretty much a simple process but i just wanted to show you the process i use to replace my hard drive with an SSD because some cases I looked at some videos and it just seemed like you know a lot of people were just taking a hard drive out and putting an SSD in there they didn't really show you the whole process I just want to show you how the process I use just to show you how easy it can be just to replace your hard drive and your laptop and I just hope this whole process helped anybody out there who was interested in doing this so it's it's real simple you got to take your chances sometimes but it was real easy like the software was right then and there I could just download it from the software that Samsung gives you migrate the whole software and it was just like I said, it took an hour for the whole process to be finished, but it was done. Now I'm up and running. I got SSDs in my new desktop and my laptop, and I'm ready to roll. I'm really happy that I did. I hope this process that I've just showed you that it can help anybody out there who's thinking about changing from a hard drive to an SSD. Hopefully, this process is easy enough for anybody to do because for me, it was real simple once I found out the software that Samsung's give you with the SSD was a migration software, and it works just as fine. I hope this process helped anyone out there considering moving from a hard drive to an SSD. And leave your comments down below. Let me know how you feel about switching from a hard drive to an SSD. Do you recommend it? Do you still um, choose a traditional hard drive or an SSD? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.